Hey everybody, I just completed week 11 of the DDP yoga program, and here are my thoughts on that. It's Jeff, I'm back again. It's week 11 is done and in the books. I don't know what else to say besides I still feel great, guys. Um, if you are looking at my videos for the first time, if you're just stumbled across this video, or whatever, and you're having struggles with weight loss, you're severely overweight, um, you're down on energy, you just you feel like you need to do something about it, give DDP yoga a try. Seriously. It's low impact, which means you're not running, you're not walking a lot, you're not doing jumping jacks, I don't want to call that any kind of that stuff. But it's based off of getting your flexibility and mobility back as long as a good diet. And it is well worth it. Uh, like I said, I'm 11 weeks in. I feel great. Um, I'm almost at a milestone for me. And I, I don't know what else to do, man. This is I don't know what else to say. Um, I, I've said it all. <laughs> this program is amazing. Uh, and, and it progressively makes you work harder. Um, it, could you stay at that level of, of the beginning? Yes, but you don't want to. At least I don't want to. I don't know about you, but as it goes on, sometimes I skipped ahead. Like, I, I don't want to say I skipped ahead in my program, but I tried out harder workouts during the week just to see how I could push myself and, and motivate myself to do better. Um, I'm still, I am still struggling with that RHC man like my like I've said in my past videos with my shoulder I cannot when I'm laying down on the mat I cannot get my hand back here I can go like this but when I'm laying down on the mat man I cannot get my arm back there it hurts like got SOB and then leg crunches like when you keep your leg off the ground and, and crunch your leg in or lift your leg up whoo boy does that hurt <laughs> but you know what it's worth it no pain, no gain, right fellas? So for those of you who have been watching my videos and have been keeping up with my progress and have found a source of inspiration through me, thank you for one. Thank you for watching and thank you for continuing to watch. Um, I am so happy that I'm able to provide this inspiration for you. I'm glad that this is helped you and I know a few of you have reached out to me personally in a private message either through here on YouTube or through the Team DDP yoga page and said thank you and I, and I want to personally right now reach out and say thank you to you because that has in itself been a motivator to keep me going. There have been times, a couple times where I've thought about oh that chocolate chip cookie looks good but then I think about what I want. Like DDP Yoga says, what do you want? Do you want this? Do you want to get down to a manageable weight? Do you want to be able to move again? Do you want to be able to touch your toes even? I mean, hell, for some of you, do you want to even want to see your toes? I couldn't see my toes at first if I just stood up straight and looked down. Um, now I'm touching my toes standing up. I mean, that's fantastic. I never thought I'd be able to do that in 11 weeks. So what about my journey this week? So this week was pretty straightforward. I kept to my plan. There's no deviation. There could have been times where I could have deviated and I didn't. I stuck, stood strong. I stuck to my guns. There was times where I was tempted and people say, hey, you wanna go for Dairy Queen? Or do you wanna go uh, to this barbecue? And rather than just be going to the barbecue and get tempted, I said no. Um, I did tell them the next time you give me some notice and I'll bring my own food. And that's what you can do. Some people may get offended that you bring your own food, but if you let them know that you're going through a weight loss program, and if you're like me and people know how overweight you are and they're your friends, they'll care about you and they'll be like, yeah, all right, dude, we just want to hang out with you. Don't worry about eating our food. So they were like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, no problem. Next time we'll give you some notice. So that, that made me feel good too. That my friends are supporting me. And, and, there are things that people have said to me recently, like I, I touched on this last week a little bit, or you know, people have complimented me and said stuff, and 
once you get to a point where people start noticing, it, it just fuels you even further. I, I just, I can't imagine myself stopping. There are a couple times last week where I did my uh, DDP was late and I, or I, I wait an extra day to do a yoga. Like if I, if I didn't have anything Tuesday and I had something on Wednesday, but I didn't have anything Thursday, I waited to Thursday to do it. That was a scheduling conflict. It wasn't because I was lazy or anything. It was just, well, maybe okay. I'm not gonna lie to you. Maybe it was a little bit of laziness, but there is just seemed more convenient at the time. And, and hey, if you need to do that, go ahead. Just, you know, make sure you're true to yourself. Make sure you, you know why you're doing this. And that if you're doing it for, you know, reasons of I'm just lazy and I don't want to, you tell yourself that, man. It's okay. It's all good. We all falter. We all fall back. We all have our moments of despair. We all have moments where we just feel like we don't want to do it. It's it's life, man. It's the way life treats you. It sucks, man. Life's rough. It sucks, doesn't it? But it's stuff like this that you can keep on doing to help increase the good times in life. So this is going to be a pretty short video this week. Uh, this week for me was pretty straightforward. I was on the ball. Like I said, I, I didn't really skip anything. I moved some workouts around, like I said. Um, I didn't have anything great happen, didn't have anything bad happen, so I'm probably not going to do any wins or fails this week because it was all pretty much on the level and, and, and nothing spectacular and nothing devastating happened this week, so. Well, you know what? I do have a win. I don't think I have a, a real fail. I, I, w I hate to do a win without a fail, but I do have a win. I'm down now 40 pounds. So I am down 10 miles from my milestone of 250, which I may or may not treat myself with something on that day, or that week or whatever. Um, not the whole week, just a day that week. Uh, just for one uh, one snack, maybe I'll have something that's, maybe I'll have a, a, a gluten-free pizza or something. Mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I, I, to I tossed around the idea of having a Dairy Queen blizzard We'll see. I don't know. I'm still uh, thinking about it. It sounds like a good idea, but it also sounds like uh, I may be tormenting myself because I know I still have a long way to go. Um, it also means that I'm down to 260, which is basically I have less than 100 pounds left to go on my goal weight of 165. Now, my, my first goal weight is 175 or 200, then 175, then 165. I, I realize once I get to 200, it's going to be a lot harder to lose the rest of the weight. So that's why my first goal weight is 200 and then 175. My, my final goal weight is 165. And what I have left of getting to 165 is in double digits. I am now clear of the triple digit loss numbers. I am down into double digits and that makes me feel great. So yay for me. For the YouTuber of the week, I want to give a shout out to someone who's a gamer like me, um, who actually knows someone who I talk to a little bit on YouTube, and that's Papa Bear. Papa Bear is a guy this guy talks to or knows about at least, because he's mentioned him in his videos. And that is the amazingly average gameplay of Anthony. Um, he is also on a DDP yoga journey right now, and I would have appreciate it if you could go over there and check out his channel and give him some encouragement right that's what we all need we all need encouragement in our journeys um if it's if it weren't for our encouragements that we get from a per people if we weren't out there helping supporting other people do this then what's the point man you know what this isn't just for you this isn't just for me it's for everyone going through something like this look kitty kitty what i'm sorry guys here Come on, Rusty. Rusty wants to be in the shot. He's been gnawing at my feet. So here you go, buddy. Oh, I know. I know, buddy. Are you jealous? Daddy's talking to the camera. All right. All right, buddy. You, you better now? All right. Say bye, Rusty. <laughs> All right. So anyway, there's a cameo by Rusty. He's been in my videos before. He just He's very... Uh, he's licking my feet right now. Yucky, right? Crazy cat. He's rubbing against my feet, licking them. He wants something. He probably just wants attention or something. But anyway, I'm getting off track. What am I doing? So yeah, check out the amazingly average gameplay of Anthony. 
He is a watcher of Papa Bear, which I'm sure some of you are also too. I know I am. We all need to be a, com a community here and come together and help each other out. I, I have I have felt good when I've talked to other people and you know I said gave them a little word of encouragement, maybe a little kick in the butt sometimes because we all need that sometimes. And same back to me. Um, if you're looking for some kind of encouragement and you're on the DDP Yoga program, or if you're not even, check out the Team DDP Yoga program website. It is amazing. There's a lot of great people there who will reach out to you in your time of need. If you're really feeling down, I suggest you turn there. If you have no one else to turn to, go there and, and find some words of encouragement. There's always somebody on in the chat room. So check them out. Um, alternatively, you can always send me a message. I am not a counselor. I am not uh, the great at giving advice, but I shoot straight from the hip. So I can tell you what you need to hear. You may not want to hear it, but I can tell you what you need to hear. Um, some people like that better. I know I do. I don't need to hear, oh, it'll get better, buddy. You'll be fine. No, I need to say, get your ass in gear. Get up and do what you need to do. That's what gets me motivated. I know it doesn't work for all everybody, so. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me again this week. I'm sorry there wasn't more words of encouragement this week. I'm sorry there wasn't more detail about my journey this week. Um, we're coming down to the end of my uh program there's only two weeks left in fact i just started week 12 today or yesterday or whatever um today's monday i'm doing this video today after that i'm still going to continue my videos because there's 13 weeks in the beginner program after that i'm going to go on the intermediate programs and i'm going to get in a little bit more detail about my daily ddp yoga like i'm going to tell you what exercises i did what problems i had with each exercise I'll tell you about the food i ate the, the meal the meals that I've been doing and stuff and that, that'll be in the intermediate section or the media intermediate ones that I do because for the beginner I, I think it's more about encouragement I think it's more about trying to help your fellow people and it's not like I won't be helping other people when I'm in the intermediate it's just you need to get through these first 13 weeks to really know that you're going to be able to do this to be able to know that you have the discipline to stick to it some people don't um there are people who famously have tried this program and just couldn't do it because they don't have the discipline to stick to it or they don't have someone behind them kicking them in the ass on a constant basis trying to get them to do it. That's just the way it goes in life sometimes. Sometimes you don't have the gumption. And that sucks for those people because they, they have to take other ways out that may cost them a lot more money or may cause other people to give them flack which is not fair because you don't you're not in that person's shoes you don't know how that person feels and you really shouldn't judge people anyway but anyway that's it for this week thank you for tuning in and we'll see you again next week